shoreline over here, so this area is kind of protected because there's no feeding animals, no, no boats, no dogs, um, and, and no water. Fish. So that means that this area has a lot of fish, and as you can see, there's four ducks right here. And so it looks like they're just trolling around. They don't seem to be scared of us at all because um, we've seen other ducks before, and they seem to be scared. So these ducks seem to be a bit more friendly right here. So as you can see over there, there is a seagull in the middle of the water. But other than that, we haven't seen much wildlife. We're just going to go up to another area of the path and we'll see if we can see more. So they're right here, right there. If uh, you can just see all the way over there, there are tons of those birds. So they seem to have a really skinny neck, tall skinny neck with a kind of a skinnier body. And I've never seen these type of birds before. They seem to be very uh, flappy and active. They're, they seem to be a type of ducks and they're diver ducks. So they dive down to get their food. And as you see, diver ducks are not the greatest at flying because their main adaptation is to dive down and get their food. They don't eat flies. So they're pretty bad flyers, but there's a lot in the, in the trees over there. So these dive kind of like loons. If you know what a loon is, it's this big duck. Like it's huge. It's way bigger than a duck and it dives down. So these look to be smaller than a duck, but they're still basically that's all we have right here, but we'll, look, we'll, look we'll keep looking. We were about to leave the area when suddenly we saw this. There is a duck right there. So as you see, it's got nice webbed feet, orange legs, and it's a pretty small duck actually, not like the ones that we saw over there. So I'm guessing it's going to go down that path. Hopefully it doesn't get poked by anything, and that's going to go into the water. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Maybe he's going to ride our bikes or something. I don't know what's going to happen. So actually, if you look over there, I'm just going to change the subject a bit, but if you look over there, you're going to see, I believe that's called cat needle or something, but actually, if you dig up the roots, you can use, you can eat them if you're in, stuck in the forest and you don't have any food, you can eat them. So let me just point your attention back to the duck. He seems to be scouching for food. I don't know what he's doing. We don't want to get too close because he might be a bit aggressive with that beak, but he looks pretty small, so... I'm guessing he just wandered up on land looking for food because there are no fish in the water. Because all those diver ducks, like I was talking about, are eating all of them. Now those could be invasive species, those uh, ducks that I was talking about earlier. They could be invasive species because now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a duck on a list of invasive species that was eating a lot of fish. So um, that's, that's really all I know about this, uh, about that bird. So this duck is getting a bit close, but we're going we're gonna to leave now. We're going to go see what else we can find. Everybody, there are two birds right here. One right there, which is smaller, and another one on that tree over there, which you you cannot see. Over there. So, yeah, very, very interesting. This is the third Pileated Woodpecker. So just jumped down, but we still have the one on the left over here. We just gotta move the camera. Yep, you can see him. And that other guy just jumped onto a tree. Oh, so there's, there's a downy woodpecker. My God, this place is full of woodpeckers. So. I'm guessing this is perfect habitat for a woodpecker. Now these are, if you look on the tree, these are very big compared to downy woodpeckers, but you can't, you can't really see them. So right down here, we got a nice one again. You, he has the red mohawk and look oh, at him. He's pecking. He's like hitting, he's hitting the tree with his beak. And they actually have a special uh, shock absorber so that it doesn't rattle their brain oh. whenever they peck. He made a small peck. So now he's going off to the side over there, but this is very to the pond that is just over there, I believe. And so it goes under this road over here, and then back over here, and then I'm guessing it goes around this forest. So when Auntie was little, this used to be all filled with water, this area over here, and now it's all dried up. We wandered a little bit more in the forest, until we finally were able to find our way to the exit. I must admit that I did get us lost a little bit, but we finally found our way to the exit and then this would end our trip. To Centennial Park, bye bye woods, until next time. Yep, we'll see you when we get to the house and we'll tell you how our adventure was. So we just came back from Centennial Park and we had fun there. We saw a couple of ducks, we saw the uh, wind turbine and we made our way through the forest and we saw a bunch of uh, different birds. So it and was fun peckers. there. So it was fun there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when we do more stuff like this. And bye.